following is an ABC primetime investigative report that aired in 2005. You want to get an edge on turning back the clock with just a few pills? Who doesn't? Well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility, a potential breakthrough. As I found out firsthand, there may be a way to erase years, at least inside my body. Granted, it's down the road, but some scientists are wondering if a new pill I took might offer a very long life. It may not look like the fountain of youth, but inside this nondescript building, I'm about to become part of an exciting experiment, a kind of guinea pig. Okay. I'm here at the University of Colorado in Denver. This is a pretty exciting stuff you're finding, huh? It is. We're very excited about it. His latest research could very well unravel the mystery of aging itself. And as decades of experiments may have the potential of adding years to people's lives and possibly prevent chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. It all centers around this small yellow pill, and for me, it begins with a blood test. Oxidative stress, like the rusting of an engine, is not a good thing. Bad for the body. Leading to disease. Leading to disease and leading to malfunction, and importantly, leading to what we call aging. It is a slow progression of increasing oxidative stress. That's the main characteristic biochemically of the aging process. It's called protandum, and tests on both mice and humans have already shown that it revs up the manufacture of those good enzymes in our bodies. More enzymes, fewer free radicals to harm it. Right now, all we know is that this preparation decreases oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is not a disease, just like aging is not in itself a disease, but it's something that accompanies and is attached to, to many disease processes. Have you discovered the fountain of youth? Uh, I wouldn't put it that way, but we may have uh, discovered something that will tell us a lot more about how we age, what happens biochemically, and maybe how we can slow it down. Normally, oxidative stress, measured by those T-bars, increases with age. Taking just one pill of protandum a day reversed that trend for everyone at every age, even for an 80-year-old. But what about my progress? After nearly two weeks now, it's time to get my results. The result? My level of oxidative stress has declined dramatically. 45%. That's, that's excellent. Just look at where I fall on the graph, before and after. Which, if extrapolated back, is, is the level you would see in a newborn baby. Have we turned back the clock? Well, maybe not on the outside, but deep inside, within my cells. Yes, indeed. High oxidative stress is associated with more than aging. It's been linked to hundreds of illnesses. It's at the very center of many diseases. Liver disease, diabetes, emphysema, asthma. Uh, uh, I've studied all of these. Strokes, heart attacks. Even mental disease? Yes. Depression? Alzheimer's disease, depression. But we do know that oxidative stress is part of those disease processes. And I don't want to wait until I'm 80 years old and find out that I should have taken it. When that news report aired on primetime in 2005, many major medical universities began studying protandum NRF2. They went on to publish their peer-reviewed research and the understanding that this product activated our genes, optimizing our own genetic potential was revealed. Science has now helped discover the three theories of aging. At the core, we have to get the basics. We have to get the basics right. When we look in the cell, when we look at the molecular biology, so myself being a molecular biologist, we want to know everything that's happening between that first signal that's coming into the cell and then that physiology that's happening. But what's been shown in aging research is that communication signal gets lost or, or muted or attenuated as we get older. It starts as early as our 20s. So again, where this nutrigenomic research is so exciting is that we can utilize extracts from plants to basically reawake NRF2 and bring it back to its full potential. This is what's so exciting about LifeVantage. We're looking at this layered approach now to these cell signaling pathways, what's happening to them as we age, and then basically layering a nutritional approach to these different theories of aging through nutrigenomics to try to keep us as healthy for as long as possible.
Researchers found early on that as we age, we basically start to accumulate free radicals and other oxidants. And if left unchecked, this can go on to have very serious consequences to the cell. But what's so interesting is our bodies have been able to capture the ability of antioxidants and put that capacity inside of our DNA. The main protein that's responsible to turn on those antioxidant and detoxification enzymes is a protein called NRF2 and is literally flipping the switches on our DNA to turn on these protective mechanisms. So Protandum NRF2 is so interesting because it was specifically designed, clinically shown, to activate the NRF2 protein, but it's basically bringing our cells to a heightened state of readiness when those insults do ultimately enter the cell. Another major theory of aging that's out there is the mitochondrial theory of aging. As we get older, our mitochondria basically start to break down. And if you're not familiar with what the mitochondria are, that is where the vast majority of our energy production is happening. So you can think of the mitochondria as being the cell's powerhouse. And so when they stop working, we stop working. So as researchers went in and looked at what's happening in the mitochondria with age, they find that they're not producing as much energy, they become far less efficient. So Protandum and RF1 Synergizer was specifically formulated to target mitochondrial health. NRF1 has been shown to, one, remove damaged or bad mitochondria, but then also is responsible for the biogenesis, right, the making of new mitochondria within the cell. A theory of aging that's really caught our attention lately is this sirtuin theory of aging, and it's a really interesting theory. So if we're, again, talking about inputs versus outputs, the molecular biology through these cell signaling pathways, they went in and they identified a family of proteins called the sirtuins. So what does it take for these sirtuins to work? One thing that they found absolutely required for sirtuin activity is a molecule called NAD you actually see just a tremendous amount of health benefits coming as a result. Healthy longevity, a healthy vascular system, helping us maintain cholesterol levels already in the normal range, and then a lot of cognitive functions. So our mood's a little bit better, we can think a little bit clearly. You do start to get some increases in energy. So of course NAD becomes a very intriguing molecule. So we went to work, we formulated Protandum NAD Synergizer specifically to target NAD and NAD dependent pathways with the ultimate goal of increasing sirtuin activity. Okay, so we saw that the individual products are working amazingly individually. We had the suspicion that there was going to be a massive synergistic effect between the three products in the Protandum family. Guess what we found? A massive synergistic effect. This is the data that I showed you for the individual products upregulating up their respective genes. But what did we find with the Trisynergizer? And the NRF2 gene, an additional 1,500% increase. Do you see the synergy? NRF1 increased to 120% or a 69% further increase. How about the NAD gene? Went up to 227% for an almost 1,800% increase. <laughs> That's the excitement. So I'm incredibly excited about what LifeVantage is doing with its ProTandem family of products, how we're addressing these three different theories of aging, the free radical theory of aging, the mitochondrial theory of aging, and now the sirtuin theory of aging. It's really opening up the door of possibility. But I also really think it's going to start to change the conversation that people are having out there as it relates to healthcare. So taking a more proactive approach to our health and wellness instead of a reactionary approach. Oh, and one more thing. This is how you feel.